Welcome to Rosy Crafted Colours. This is my November finished coloured pages. Um, I've coloured quite a few compared to what I usually colour, so I'm quite happy. Some were whips, so I'm quite pleased I've got quite a few done. But here we go, I'll get on with it. So my first picture is in A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo. And I coloured this as part of a colour along tag posted hosted by Little Pickles Colourful Life on Instagram. And the tag was a million colourful things and I coloured this little mermaid in her shell with her little bunny and I used Artie's Expert coloured pencils and I used a uh, coral and an aqua posca pen for these dots behind. Um, I think it turns out really cute. I love her hair. Her hair I'm really pleased with. Yeah and I like my colour palette. I like this sort of oranges and thing is it's sort of reminiscent of the 70s so that is my first coloured page of the month so my second coloured page is from fairies in dreamland by denise um kessel and this was colette sorry not kessel and this was a whip that i had and strangely it was actually part of a colour along that little pickle had done um earlier in the year and i think it was a purple hair fairy um but I can't remember. But I know it was a little pickle one that I was going to do it for. But I didn't finish it. So I used Cast the Castle Arts Colour Soft Pencils. And um, Giotto Turbo Glitter Felt Pens. Which I'm not too keen on them. I don't know if you can pick up any sparkle. I think you can just about pick up some sparkle. But oh my god. I was absolutely covered in glitter after using them. But I'm really happy with this fairy. I think she's super duper cute. Um... And it was nice to finish it. I love finishing a whip. Like, I've got a few left. So I'm going to every month try and focus on doing at least one or two and getting them finished. So there we go. That was my second picture. My next picture was a whip in this little cute colouring book that not many people probably own. It's called The Sheep by Mar Marina Habak Habakova. I don't really know how to say her name. She's on Instagram. Um under here so she is like a watercolor artist and she does the most beautiful watercolors but i had i got this book on um, at, um ebay and i can't find it for sale anywhere so i'm really sorry if you do want a copy of it maybe you'll be lucky so i colored this little um sheep and i used castle arts pencil crayons for this and i like the way it turned out i think the pencils Look really pretty on this page i love the fuchsia i tried to get them to be the same color as the ones in my garden because i really do like fuchsia plants so that was a whip that i completed my next page is also a whip i completed but i also did it as part of a color along um run by at shades of pure joy and the color along was school skills 2020 and this is my page i did for this this is the skulls and stars page in Halloween colouring book by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and I'm so pleased with this. I think it turned out really, really well. Um, it was a whip but all I'd had done previously was the skin so I had quite a lot to do but I used Arteza Expert coloured pencils. I've used them a lot this month and I used a black Posca to do these sort of um, like uh, mystical, misty stuff. I don't really know how to describe it. I used a white gel pen as well for her eyes. But I wanted to keep this really simple colour palette. The only thing I would change if I did it again was I would make her top not um, black because I feel like there's not much separation here between the wings and the, the top. But otherwise, I'm so pleased with this. This is probably my favourite picture I've coloured this month. I'm really pleased with her hair. And if anyone's interested what colours I used from the expert pencils, just put me a message below and I'll tell you because I think this is a really good sort of honey blonde. Really beautiful. So that was my um, picture in Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween colouring book. My next picture is from Spookletts by uh, Carla Magana. And I coloured in this page and it is all pinks and oranges and things and I really like it I think it's really beautiful it's the first Carla Magana page I've ever coloured um I used um 
some alcohol pen alcohol markers i don't have many alcohol markers so i just have a weird variety of them so i don't really know which ones i'd use what the names were they'd be quite a variety of names and i used um gold gel pen i used fine liners i used some pencils i have these uh koi noir noir um dry marker pencils and they're like neon colored they're for like highlighting in um highlighting in books and stuff when you need to highlight things but i use them to do this lovely neon orange if anyone knows of a company that make a beautiful neon colored pencils i'd really love to know because i really would like to have some neon pencils i'd like to have a little go playing with neon colors quite like them but there we go i'm really pleased with that i think she's really beautiful i love her makeup yeah pleased with that one on my next page if you'd seen my review of this book 50 lovely nose by uh camellia angel cover then you will have already seen this one there is a review on my channel and this is of the lovely sleeping gnome in his little tree under tree i think in a tree underneath a tree house and i'm really pleased with this um i think it turns out really sweet i use prismacolor premier pencils i tried to make his socks dirty which i quite like <laughs> and I think it turns out really well and um, all I used was the Prisma Premier pencils and I think they work really well on this Create Safe paper. I love this book. I think it's super cute and I think I did quite a good job of the fur as well, which I'm quite, you know, new to really. Fur, it's not something I usually colour. And I also uh, included this for the um, Nordic, mm, is it Nordic? Nordic November Colour Along by... Um, Kat Kylo Colours on Instagram. She's a lovely in colouring friend of mine and she's so lovely. Uh, she's on Instagram. You should go check her out if you haven't. So there we go. That was my next page. And my next page is also from another book I reviewed on my channel. This is The Dreams Collection by Yamputh. And I coloured this very cute Carousel Queen. And I used Arteza Expert pencils for this and I also used a Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner for these little hearts for the little pink bits Um, I don't know what I'm doing with those yet and I'm just playing around I'm recently I'm trying to play around with things I don't really use so I'm having a bit of fun trying out things uh, that are new to me but I'm really pleased with her hair it's super shiny and I think she's really pretty so there we go that's another page completed this month my next page was a whip and it was a whip for a long time and it's this lovely page from Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson and it's the nameplate page and I came back to this and I'd coloured the leaves only and there wasn't much done but I thought you know I wanted to go for this sort of teal and purple colour scheme which I think works really well. And then I wasn't sure what flowers to do, but I think they work. I was unsure about these peachy flowers, but I do think because they're so pale, it doesn't take away from the main image. But this is how big of a whip it is. I put when I started the book and I started it in February. <laughs> and this is the only page I've, I've done on this book. So, or did I do the... I did the little B, so it's not too bad. But I think I finished the B and then completely came onto this. So this started in February and it's been left since February. <laughs> but I think it turned out really well. That was just a whip to finish. My next page is a buddy colour that I did with my lovely friend on Instagram, whose name I'm totally going to butcher. And it is, um, oh, I feel really bad because I really love her. It's Lani Tia, No Rules in Colouring. Um, she's one of my loveliest friends on instagram we've we chat um now and again and i really like her she's really friendly and we have similar taste in coloring books she loves the denise collect books too and she's a great friend so sorry i don't mean to go i gush about my coloring friends because they're all so wonderful and kind and i just really love them all they're just so um, welcoming so i'll shut up and actually talk about this page <laughs> So this is the first Christmas page I've ever, ever completed. I've never done a festive page before. Um, so I wanted to go quite traditional and I like it. I think it turns out really well. I love my little Robin. I'm super pleased with my Robin. And I think the blue sort of stopped it being too sort of traditional festive. I didn't want to do these as Santas. I wanted them to be little gnomes because as I've said before, 
I love me some gnomes. Um, and on this side, I finished off. Uh, on this side, I just used Prismacolors and I used a gold uh, Faber Castell pit pen for just to pick up some of the gold accents and and a white gel pen for his eyes and nothing else. Oh yeah, the pit pen is up here too. But on the other side, I decided to use some of the Collier um, sparkly gel pens. I don't know if they're like picking up, but they are like sparkly little bits like here, sparkly little bits. I don't know if it shows up on the, the camera, but I'm really pleased with these pages. I think they're really nice. Um, I think they fit in together. My plan for these pages is try and uh, match the colours a somewhat the previous the page that they're next to um i really like my background in this um i wasn't sure at first that i'd made the right decision going for this sort of peachy um gradient but if anyone wants to know the gradient colors there just put a message down below and i'll tell you because i have written that down because i really like that gradient i'll probably use that again someday so there we go that was in fairy touch of magic by carla Markova. Markova. so my next page is in gnomes in the neighborhood one of my favorite books that I own and I call it this page and this was done for the lovely Kirsty Colours um Colour and Sketches November Nights Colour Along and I didn't want to go Christmassy with this page but I know it is a festive sort of page but I didn't want to go Christmas colours so I decided to use some different colours so I used um Expert Coloured Pencils by Arteza. I used a black sharpie for the background and a couple of fine liners. Um, I used a silver metallic sharpie for the stars and I used some colour color gel pens. I don't know if they pick up on here for her like um, little sort of roses on her dress and there's some on here too. And what I wanted to do was have this snow woman, definitely a woman, have a little bit from each character so it was like they've dressed her together these friends have come together and dressed her and i think it turns out really well i really like this page um i really like how i colored the snow as well so yeah there's that page and then my last page that i colored for november was a page that was a whip and it was in fairy celebrations now i think i've mentioned before that i am really have been intimidated by carla's books because Clara's book sorry because they're so beautiful and they are pricey so I worry about ruining them but I started this one a while back and then I just left it I just didn't want to ruin it I was just so unsure what to do with it anyway I have finally finished it and it's adjacent page so I used Prismacolor Premier pencils and I also used some of those color yard gel pens which I'm really loving right now so I'm really pleased with it. Also, I tried to link the pages together, like I said, in the other Clara Markova book. I tried to link them together. And it was really nice colouring like a spring page while it's like getting cold outside. It was quite nice. So, I'm really happy with my colour scheme. I love this aqua and lilac -y, violet -y colours together. I think they work really well. I think all the colours work well together in these pictures. Nothing jars when I'm... Um, I'm really pleased with it. I don't know if you can pick up the sparkle, but I'll just have a little go with the... No, I'm not sure you will. But anyway, the sparkle on the the dragons on their little um, markings and there's some sparkle on the flowers, but you can't quite see them. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this page. I think it's really pretty and I love Clara Markova's books and I'm going to colour, I'm making myself um, a little promise to at least colour one page from one of her books every month because these aren't cheap colouring books and it seems a waste to just leave them lying on the shelf not getting coloured because I'm intimidated by them. Um, so there we go, I will be doing that. So I want to say thank you for watching. Um, it's been I love making YouTube videos. I'm, I'm still a bit new and nervous, but I really enjoy um, sharing what I do. If you have any questions or ideas of things you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, so if you did enjoy my video, please consider liking and subscribing to join my tiny, teeny little baby channel. And happy colouring to all of you out there. And bye.